Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you some cool tricks using utilities in Compass. So, the first off, I want to get started. I actually uncommented this font face with Chunk 5 because I could not stand looking at Chunk 5 on my entire document any longer. So, uh, just a heads up on that one if you watched the last video, it's set back to Helvetica. Um, so, actually, one thing I'm going to do first is let's take a look at this and you see we have these links that are green and impossible to read down here well first I'm going to actually remove this hover state I'm gonna show you some cool things you can do with links with some mix-ins that compass has built in that uh, can just save you some typing you know nothing crazy so I'm actually gonna take this color off too um, let's save this and see what it renders as it should be like the default or something yeah the blue okay so uh, one quick one is going to be an unstyled link. So let's say you want your anchor, any of them, uh, to just fit right in with the paragraph that it's um, in. So in this case, our links would be the same white color, they would have no underline, whatever. So that mix in is nice and easy. It's include and then unstyled link. And then we could save that. And now if we refresh this, you can see our links blend in. You can't even see them. It's really great. Uh, and Compass isn't doing anything crazy here. I mean, it's just inheriting the color, inheriting the text decoration. It's giving it, uh, you know, no outline on focus or active. So it's, you know, not doing anything crazy. But let's say, you know, you just wanted your links to blend in for whatever reason. That's, you know, one line of code instead of a few. Okay, well, let's say you wanted your link to hover and have an underline on it and then not have an underline when it's not hovered. Well, that's really easy too. We just do at include hover hyphen link and refresh the page. As you can see, our awesome blue links have no underline. We hover it and they have an underline. This might be kind of hard to see. Let's Actually, let me just change this link color to something not so awful right now. Um, oh gosh, let's just make this. Um, I can't think of any non-awful colors right now. Uh, actually, even just yellow would be easier to see, although this is going to look bad too. So let's refresh. Okay, so yeah, no underline, hover, underline. So that's really just adding... Uh, it's really adding two lines. It's adding a text decoration none and then a hover text decoration of underline. Again, not super crazy, but saving you a couple of lines. I mean, it's saving you having to write the hover state. It's saving you having to write text decorations for both. So again, you know, Compass just saving you some time. Cool. Well, let's show you one more for links. And this one allows you to specify your links normal, hover, active, visited, and focus states in that order. So if we get rid of this color yellow, because we're going to be specifying our color here. If we say include link hyphen colors, and then in parentheses, we're going to put our colors. So first state is the normal state. We want this to be yellow. Okay, and now comma. Now we want the hover state. We want this to be yellow minus 10. And then we want the active state. We want this to be yellow minus 30, comma. We want the visited state. Well, we just want this to be yellow. We don't want this to be a, anything crazy. And then we want its focus. We'll just have this blue for fun. Okay, so let's save this. And now let's check out our CSS to see what it's even doing. So, scroll down here. It's actually given it a visited, a focus, a hover, and an active state. Awesome. So it saved us all that typing. Come back to our page. Uh, let's see. So it looks like that hover isn't even like, it's not, really not even bold enough to see. Let's change it to something a little bit more crazy. So we can do blue on hover. <laughs> and green on active. Okay, let's check out our document. Let's refresh. Okay, so now it's blue on hover, green on active. Awesome, and yellow on visited. So that's how to use the links mixins for SAS. 
I'm going to show you one more thing that's sort of related. It's not having to do with links, but it, what it's going to do is it's going to do something that we actually did in the SAS tutorials where we built a color contrast function. So this thing actually does something very similar. The mixin is called contrast color and it's going to help you do some contrasting. Um, in the previous SAS lessons, we did this whole thing where we built our own color contrast. I'm going to comment all this out. Let's save this. Let's refresh our document here. Okay, so we want this text to be contrasted on this uh, first two paragraphs. So let's come up here to where we have our background image as a gradient. I'll, I'm going to comment this up too. And so we want the text to be contrasted. Uh, and we're going to use that cream color still. So what this mixin actually does is it not only sets your background color for you, but it sets your text color for you. So here we would say at include, and then we're going to say contrasted, and then we're going to pass in what our background color should be. So we want to use this cream and semicolon here. So this is going to set our text color for us. So let's check out this uh, class of grad and see what's going on here in our CSS. As you can see, it's given us a background color of our cream and then it's given an automatic color to our text as black. So let's refresh our page. And as you can see, this text that's in the grad class, which is actually this whole thing here, um, is black now. So let's actually put that on our paragraph one and two, and I'll show you like the inverse example of that. So let's see. So on our intro here, um, I'm going to get rid of this. Let's space this out a little bit more so it's easier to see. I'm going to comment these two things out. And we're going to say include contrast did contrasted and then we're going to pass it what colors do we have well actually let's just pass it a black so we can see white text and black so it's going to set the background of this to black and it should give us white text we refresh our page as you can see our intro paragraphs now have black background white text nice and easy um, if you remember when we did this in sass I mean, it, it took a few lines of code. We have this if else, you know, change the thing. So it saved us from having to write this. And here we have an automatic text contrast built for us. So these are just some utilities built into Compass. In the next lesson, we're going to go over some more awesome uh, Compass mix in utilities and just show you kind of cool stuff they can do, some little time saving things. Just a nice way to not have to write so many lines. As always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment on the video, hit us up at Twitter. Once again, this is Scott at Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching.